what do we witness uh, within data integrity this year, uh, speaking about uh, statistics and trends? Yes, data integrity has been a hot issue within the last two years. Okay. Just a little, very brief little of the uh, history. It started pretty much back when we had the generic drug scandal, back in the 1980s and 1990s, where some companies were falsifying data to get their product approved, to, to uh, obtain quick approval or first approval for, for the FDA. And as a result of that, FDA cracked down on it, and some companies had to shut down, some people had to go to jail, and so forth. And pre-approvals, uh, inspection were intensified, and we have very high level of disapproval during the early years when the FDA intensified their focus on that. So everything went away, everything was nice and quiet until 2005 when one company again falsified laboratory data to release batches that did not meet specifications. And the FDA again intensified the inspection and they found data integrity problem that there are companies who are continuing to falsify records and so forth. But it was in the low numbers, okay? They were not finding like 50%, 60%. We're talking 3%, maybe in the low teens, maybe 11, maybe 12% of warning letters had data integrity uh, violations listed, uh, listed in them. So what happened that in the last couple of years? For example, in 2014, of the warning letters that contain citations for data integrity, about 43% of warning letters issued to pharmaceutical companies had citations regarding data integrity. And last year in 2015, it was 70%. So did we start falsifying more in the last two years? No. If you take a look at all the warning letters and look at the citations where the FDA referenced data integrity, it is because the FDA has expanded the scope of the meaning of data integrity. Okay, back in the old days, data integrity was primarily falsifying records, okay? and that's why it was relatively low. But today, the FDA will accuse you or cite you for deficiency regarding data integrity, not just for falsification, but because you did not document at the time of performance which has been the GMP requirement. You also have a data integrity problem if you delete information, if you delete records, okay? That, that is not justified. It is also a data integrity problem if you change, you make changes to your results and make changes to the record without proper documentation. It is also a data integrity problem if you do not have computer security, and that is the hardest issue within data integrity, okay? you have a common password. Therefore, I cannot trust the data that is stored within your computer. Okay? You have uh, a computer system that where, where you don't even have password control. And what the FDA has been focusing on when they inspect the laboratories, when they go after these, um, the, these computers, is they are going after standalone computers. They're not going in and checking your limbs or your, uh, or, or your millennium, or, because those are validated, okay? Those have tons of security. They have individual passwords. They have good audit trails. But what they're focusing on are these standalone computers that may not have the software that is that elaborate to give the level of security that is expected by the FDA. They're also targeting window, Windows-based uh, uh, software. For example, a particle counter in the laboratory, a atomic absorption spectrophotometer, those are Windows space. Yes, we have individual passwords, but that's individual passwords you get into Windows. But after you get into Windows, anyone can open anyone's file on that atomic absorption. In fact, I had someone do a demonstration for me during an audit where you can go in, start, control panel, uninstall. Anyone in the lab can go in and uninstall the entire software. And that is where we are having a problem and the FDA has put computer security and or the lack of audit trail as a violation of data integrity. So you can see that when the scope has expanded from just falsification, that's where we're getting the 8%, 3%, 5%, and when they have expanded the scope out to here, that's why we have 
so many warning letter citations on data integrity, and that's why it is such a hot issue. It is not because falsification has increased 100, or 200, or 300 percent. It's that expansion of the scope of the meaning of data integrity.